All right, guys, we are back. And if you just watched my last video, you know that we just went through the new trailer, the second trailer they put out from Spirit Halloween for the 2023 season. It was absolutely awesome, totally mind-blowing. I cannot wait to dig into these things and look at a lot of these individually uh, because they already have them up on the website, guys. I think there are about three of them that I've noticed so far that are not yet available on the website. Don't even have any pictures or anything up there, but there's a good handful of them on here. So we're just going to start knocking these things out. I'm going to make one video for each one so we can take a little bit of time and look at those individual animatronics. And uh, let's just let's go ahead and start with um, this one down here that I don't quite understand, but a lot of people online are already saying this may be their favorite of the whole season. And this is the seven foot Death Stalker animatronic. Now this is one that uses fog. I don't know what to make of this. Like honestly, when I first saw him in the video. I was like, what is that thing that looks weird? I'm not even sure if I like it. Kind of reminds me of the movie Tremors, like a big like worm or something. It's just got his big fangs open and the, the fog is shooting out his mouth. Um, let's go ahead and look at some of these pictures here. And the website is being kind of weird. They must just be getting slammed by people right now looking at these things and buying them uh, because the pictures are not coming up how they usually do. We can't enlarge them, but we can look at them as they're presented here, and they should look okay to you guys on this video. So here is a front view of the Death Stalker animatronic. Uh, let me first read this a little bit. The Death Stalker is scratching at your window. I love how they word this stuff, man. He is growling beneath the floorboards and is the thing hiding under your bed. <laughs> the Death Stalker is the shadow hiding behind the abandoned doll factory. He's clawing his way up the basement stores, scuttling around in the attic and breathing down the back of your neck while you wait alone late at night at the bus stop. But most of all, the Death Stalker is hungry. He is ravenous, starving, and salivating over your bones. What in the world? The Death Stalker smells your fears and turns them into living nightmares before he devours what's left of your mind as a midnight snack. That's what I'm talking about. I even got my snack right here. It's a peanut butter sandwich. <laughs> I feel like Bastion on a never-ending story. Not too much right now. Save some for later. Okay. So back to the seven-foot Death Stalker animatronic. Oh my gosh, guys. I'm already excited just by the description of this guy. Like I said, when I first saw him in the video, I wasn't sure what to think. I wasn't sure if I really liked him. But man, after that description, I really like this guy. Okay, so he looks like a ginormous hunchback. If we move on to the second picture here, it's him standing here with his arms up. Does he only have four fingers? It looks like he only has four fingers. Four fingers and no thumb. And I gotta say, those hands remind me of the Predator. But anyways, he's standing here with his mouth gaping open, giant fangs of teeth. And I gotta say, they are bright white teeth. He has been using the Aquafresh. And he has fog shooting out his throat, not just his mouth, his throat. It's coming from behind his tongue. Look at that. This guy is seven feet tall. Look at the giant like hunchback. Where's his eyes? He doesn't even have eyes. Apparently he doesn't need eyes to kill us. Okay, so we also have a picture here of the back. There's one of the side. Oh my gosh. What the heck? That may be the scariest view yet. Even scarier than the front. What in the world, man? <laughs> Here's a picture from the front. That is, that is so creepy. Here's another one kind of from the side. Man, look at those. The hands are huge. The head is huge. The body is huge. And the fog. Look, he's got a gigantic tongue in there, too. Everything about this guy is gigantic. And then here's the picture where they show you like what he basically looks like beside a six-foot man. So if I were standing beside him, um, I'd be a little fatter and <laughs> a little bit shorter. <laughs> but let's go ahead back up because there is a video. Now, first, I'm going to tell you this guy is 7.3 feet 
Deathstalker animatronic, $279.99. He is available on the website right now if you want to go buy him. They're always having deals with free shipping and stuff, so you might be able to get him for $279.99. However, I know that with the oversized items, they do like to charge like a $20 fee just because he's so huge. So let's go ahead and pull up this video here. Man, this guy. Oh yeah, my headphones are right here on my neck. <laughs> All right, let's see what he does. Oh my god. He just growls and snarls. Oh my gosh. Okay, guys. So, yeah, he basically just growls and snarls and fogs. And as far as his stance, he's just moving back and forth. I love, though, in this video here, how they have him set up in what appears to be like a child's bedroom. <laughs> There's like a doll in the background. There's some bunk beds over here. So they're totally saying, hey, you're going to wake up in the middle of the night and this guy is going to be at the foot of your bed. How absolutely insane. He is huge. I cannot wait to see him in the store. Um, I definitely like him better than when I first saw him in the teaser video. I can't say he's my favorite one, though. Um... Rising Creepy Doll so far holds that spot for me because even though she's an older prop and they're just re-releasing her, she is so awesome and so scary to me that that one's going to be a tough one to beat. So guys, there is just a quick look at the 7-foot Deathstalker animatronic. Tell me what you think about him below. Is he your favorite? Do you think there's other ones you're going to like better or that you already do like better? Stay tuned, because I'm sitting here all day going through each and every one of these animatronics that they just put on the website, and we're going to look at each of them just as we did with this one.